Today's been quite a fascinating day for me. You sit next to a Grand Prix driver and see him come up against situations which he doesn't know, to see um, whether he would react. Rally drivers think that uh, they know it all. They've got pace notes and they, they, they take a chance on what's around the next bend. But to me, to watch Graham Hill, as he comes up on a bend, he makes a decision so fast and so quickly, and then he sticks by his decision. It, it, and the, the result is the car's not all over the place. It flicks through the corners, then it flicks the other way, and then it flicks the other way. And it's all controlled. I think it's terribly important that uh, ordinary cars are being used in this event. And they are ordinary cars. They're, uh, they're showroom cars with modifications that are about stretching as far as a roll bar for safety. But uh, we can't even take uh, anything out of the car for lightness. It's got, <clears throat> we've got a radio in the car. We listen to the news in the car. Um, there, we haven't got racing tires on the car. We've got standard rims. Some cars are built with standard rims a little bit wider, which gives them a, a, a little bit of advantage. But these cars are taking a tremendous pounding. Uh, even though it is on tarmac roads. In fact, they're doing the job that they're built to do. And when you see how much extra is left in a car, when you think as a good driver, you've come to the limit of what its adhesion is or what you can do with a car, and then you get a Grand Prix driver sitting there and he takes it that much further, you realize that Joe Public is in a very safe vehicle. And we've, uh, we've really hammered on very hard and yet we've done, we've had service crews all over. The service crews, all they've done is check the oil. Now drivers and navigators checked in for a welcome night's sleep. But first, they checked the results. Roger Clark was leading from Tony Lanfranchi with Gordon Spice and James Hunt, third and fourth respectively. The Datsun team in the smaller class were happy too. The drivers were enjoying themselves and the showroom cars hadn't given the mechanics a minute's problem. Saturday morning, and north to Ulton Park for a sunny session at the cheerful Cheshire Circuit. Once again, a 15-minute race, and top people relaxed while mechanics gave their charges a last-minute check. But Tony Lanfranchi was late because of an oil leak in his BMW, which would unfortunately put him out of the running. Fulton was only one of three races to occupy the high-speed tourists on a very varied Saturday, but it proved an unfriendly place for Roger Clark, who lost his chances of victory through an electrical fault on his Capri. The enthusiasts were there in force to see family cars put through the high-performance hoop by some very hard-charging drivers. It isn't every day that a world champion is let loose in a standard family saloon. Hill was anxious to lead the Datsun trio home in his bid to make up for that time lost in the Welsh downpour. And he was obviously enjoying it as much as the crowd. 